Where are you joining us from? Oh, I'm joining from uh, Iran. Iran, great. Yeah. Four thirty in the morning. Oh wow! Wow, that's, <laughs> that's very impressive. <laughs> but it's it's good. Yeah, really good actually. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Are you yeah, in Tehran? Thank you or... for the session. Uh, close, close. Uh, uh, sixty seventy miles. Uh -huh. From 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 capital, yeah. Well, look at that. Only three of us. Mm. Lots of people watching the the YouTube videos, but not so many people joining us live. I guess it's uh hard to maintain the consistency. Well, thank you first for joining. Um, let's uh. Is there anything you wanted to talk about, or should we keep going? Oh, uh, are you asking me? Ah, uh, both of you. Ah, okay. I think you were about to finish the glyph, yeah? I think you finished the glyph. The... Let's go have a look. And then... Uh, share my screen. Um, so I guess we're doing this one, were we? The rest. Oh, okay. Were we in the middle of something? Let's see. I guess not. Is this different to Upshoe? Is this like a bigger version of it or something? Oh, it's Upshoes. That is Upshoe? Yeah. We've already done that, right? Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. I'm just going to type help just in case it's some weird different version of it. Oh. What just happened? That's strange. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Um and have we definitely not done Iota Underbar? I guess if we did, it would have been probably here. Um, okay, dialogue, language elements. I'm trying to remember what IOTA underbar does. Where? Interval index. Let's put it next to IOTA. As well. Okay, so I'm going to guess that it is shift I. Correct. Aorta underbar. Okay. Uh, copy. All right, we've already got row at this point, so that's good. So B mat is two by three. All right, so um, I heard underbar, I guess, pretty clearly is showing us the locations of the binary trues. Uh, and more than that, it is replicating them the number of times according to what the number is. So 
doesn't work on negative numbers, doesn't work on floats. OK, seems easy enough. And then for matrices, it's telling us the coordinates of each of the binary trues. It would be easier if this is printed out. Row one, column two, two, one, two, three. Cool. So anything else I should add or anything? Does that make sense? What's this one? Uh, so we won't put it in our notebook, but should we try to see if we can figure out what this is? Iota Rho Omega. Oh, it's okay. So, what's the index of that? Oh, Isaac's here. Hi, Isaac. I see. So, yeah. Iota of Iota of Rho of Omega is the indices that, yeah, correspond to that to that array. And okay, so. Um, that's our input. That's a function. That's a function. Function operator. Function. OK, so that's a function. That's a function. That's a function. So this is a fork with three functions. Does that sound right? I'm right. Hooray. So we go row of this, and then we go slash over comma. Now there's no reason to use over, right? Because it's monadic, so we could just use jot and get the same thing. Yes. Um, so first, Uh, so is this, the comma is not necessary, is it? Haha, it's not. I guess this is in case it's like a scalar or something. Okay. And then, can anyone remember what slash does? Set the replicate. I guess that's the monadic, right? Uh, oh, reduce. Monadic slash is not defined. Oh, so. Wait. Uh, wait, how is this working? Because monadic slash is not defined. That's a syntax error. Oh, no, 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 it's dyadic because there's a omega here. Okay, so it's dyadic. Uh, 
Okay, we've got a okay, we've got a fork slash aorta row and a dyadic fork uh, applies the outside functions to both outside arguments. Is it? Uh, here, yep. So this is a dyadic fork, and it applies the outside functions to both outside arguments. So were they just recreating the monadic iota underbar? Um, let's see. So this is going to be. Oh, I see. Um, I think you're right. Um, so the reason this works is that slash means replicate and the left hand side tells you how many things times to replicate the right hand side. Um, omega slash omega. Uh, Okay, so there's omega slash omega. So that's doing the replicate. And then you've got row of omega as we discussed. Okay, and then dyadic iota. Dyadic iota. index of so wait what did i do wrong oh um it's uh it's This row is applied to the left and the right. Uh, so it's omega row omega. Is that right? No. So I can put parentheses here, right? No. Okay. So I'm parsing it wrong. Oh, I'm parsing it wrong because of the omegas. This is not in parentheses, so it's not a fork. So I'm totally wrong. Um, so we actually have to be careful about precedence here. Without parentheses, it's going to be, uh, there's actually no operators in this version. So we uh, bind most tightly on the, on the right. So this is actually simply going to be rho of omega, which is four. And then iota, which is one, two, three, four. So it's just going to be that, which does give us the answer. Okay. Got to be careful of uh, precedence. And I guess you could do that tacitly by doing um, jot and then what Adam calls selfie. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Yay. Okay. That was a bit of a digression. A single line in the docs to say this is how you can define iota underbar 
could have made that a bit faster, but I guess it'd be less fun. Okay. Yeah. Dyadic aorta underbar. Thank you for your fast cackle stuff, by the way, Isaac. I, it was something I wanted for myself. I think a lot of people are going to find it really useful. Yeah, I hope so. I'm, I'm right now trying to fight with GitHub Actions. I'm trying to get it scheduled so it'll run oh, and update smart. if any of the libraries are, if any of the libraries are. Um, a great idea not the latest, it'll just update them. And then I can um, have a big repository that people can just uh, point to. So they don't have to upload their own unless they want to. Now this one I remember doing with Claire. It's a bit of an odd one. Oh, wrong way around. Okay. So A E I O U. Oh, there's two things here. What's it doing? Okay, so the number of results is the same as the number on the right hand side. Let's start with a numeric one, because I think I know this one. So what the 246 does is it creates a number of groups. Uh, the first group it creates is less than two and then two to less than four, and then four to less than six, and then greater than or equal to six. And so less than two will become zero, two to less than four will become one, four to less than six will become two, greater than or equal to six will become three. So that's why one, is less than two, so it becomes zero. Two is um, two to less than four, so it becomes one, and so forth. So just tell. So these define breakpoints, and then it just applies these to those breakpoints and gives you the results. But be very careful because it's a bit weird that it starts at zero instead of one, which when I asked about this on the APL Discord, <coughs> Marshall Lockburn told me he considers this an off by one error in APL. Although somebody else pointed out it does have some convenient properties. Uh, so you can think of it as like the group number one is the bit defined by when you actually get greater than or equal to two. So zero is like less than the minimum value. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is exactly the same thing that for letters, these letters are in alphabetical order. So D is between A and E, so it's one. Y is later than U, so it's five. Gotcha. Okay, rank two arrays. I don't know.
Interval index works with major cells. Okay, so this is one of these ones with broadcasting built in. Wait, is it? Uh, higher rank left argument. It compares subarrays NY, which is the right argument. With the major cells of X. I'm not quite following. Uh, what are subarrays of this? I guess three three is a subarray. So uh, if it's not broadcasting, length just three or three 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 would give errors, right? But what if we did? Uh, two rows, you... two columns. Of three, 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 five. Yeah. So it's this is subarray one, I guess. This is subarray two. So this is the same as as this result concatenated with this result. How does it decide that three, three is one? I guess it's looking through here to find like a row that contains what exactly? Would zero three give you the same result? No. So, I think it's like it's trying to. So they, it's basically oh. like looking for the first. Okay, I think the issue is, um, it's 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 comparing column one and then column two, and column two would only matter if there was a tie. So I think if we went. Um, Okay, one, two, three, four, three, five. So three, three is not bigger than three, four. Three, four is, but then three, five is higher still. And then four, five is off the end. Oh, well, greater than or equal to is always going to be there. Yeah, so it's saying uh, what row would, would this slot into by first of all making sure that it's greater than or equal to the first column and greater than or equal to the second column. So this one would have to go here because the second is not greater than or equal to. But if either of them are greater than the second, then it would slot them after, right? So yeah, which I think is. I think it's exactly the same as doing okay. 12, 34, 35. Right? That's basically the same thing, right? Same results. Okay. Oh. And for people who want to learn more about this, they've got quite extensive examples, which I suspect means that this is fairly important.
I guess in you know anytime you're trying to place a continuous number into a bunch of buckets, you would use this kind of approach. Like plotting groups or something like that. Okay. Histograms. Molly, you're very quiet. I can't quite hear you properly. Oh, uh, yeah, my mic was long ways away. Uh, histograms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, circle. Okay, I wonder if circle should go in the basic math section because that's circle functions. I can't imagine we're going to need other stuff much. Um, Bit of a big topic, I guess, circle functions. Uh, circle, here it is. All right. Circle, how do we write circle? Hey, I just remembered I've actually installed the <laughs> APL keyboard. I don't need this thing anymore. Oh, I guess it's useful to see what button to press anyway. Okay, so it's O. So I can just press Alt O. Oh, maybe I need to do this. Alt O. There we go. Cool. Alt O which I guess is just called circle. Yep. Circle. Monadic circle. I times. So I guess that means we could just go monadic circle one. And can we do like that? Yeah, okay. Seems easy enough. Okay, nothing weird. Oh, fun. Uh, Euler's identity. So I, pi I, A to the pi I. Yeah. Um, Euler's identity. Although at this point, we haven't done any kind of trainee thing. So maybe we should do that in two steps. Uh, pi i equals pi i. Oops, what did I do wrong? Oh, it's not exact. Is that what it's saying? Something weird going on here. Have I done something weird? So this is 
pi i. This is pi i. And then this is a to the power of that. Yeah, that's definitely pi i. That's strange. Oh, I see. It's minus 1 plus 10 to the negative 16 i, which is basically 0. So I think what's happened is, um, my guess is that uh, this is special case or something in APL, dialog APL, to remove the annoying floating point residue left over bit here. And basically, this is close enough to zero i. For some reason, when we do it all in one go, it gets it exactly right. All right, well, maybe we won't show that then. Okay. Dyadic. Circle function. There isn't really a short way to do this, so I'm inclined to just provide a link. Um, but basically, the idea is you put something on the left, and whatever you put on the left defines what function you get. And cos is two. And presumably we can do both. Yep. And can we do it to multiple things? What does that do? I'm not quite clear on what happens when alpha is um, an array. Uh, oh, I guess it's, but well, no, okay, that makes sense. So if we do pi, pi,
Okay, so that's basically zero, zero. Or maybe 0.5. Okay. So then what happens if we, and what does that do? Because you kind of, I was expecting four results. I was expecting sine and cos, because if we do sine and cos of zero, or sine and cos of half pi, So why do you, so what do the two numbers mean here? I, I think you're applying each function to e each of the, or sorry, uh, each trig function to each of the ones in the right side. I, factor see. And I so need a better vocabulary. <laughs> you think it's broadcasting over the scalars. Yes. Yeah, I think. Uh... Oh, right. That's exactly what happens by yeah. default in APL, right? Is uh, a scalar broadcasts over an array. But if they're both arrays, then they just broadcast to each other. Yes, yes, yes. You're exactly yeah. right. Okay. Great. Okay. Fine. Okay. Um, element of we should put with our kind of set related stuff, which I guess is where uh, up and down shoe were. Epsilon. Why not epsilon? Means n list because ML for us is one, I remember. And it's just called epsilon. Yes. Epsilon. Monadic. Epsilon n list and dyadic Epsilon is member of Oh, okay. Can I see what's going on here? So, matrix is two by three, uh, row iota six. So what it's doing is it's got zero, then it's got a matrix from one to six, and then it's got an array with seven and eight, and then it's got a scalar nine, and it just uh, flattens them and sticks them all together, flatten, concatenate. I wonder if that does that for more axes. 
Yes, it does. Seems easy enough. Ah, uh, okay, so this is interesting. Um, yeah, so this is two by three, but this is a single, this is, oh, sorry, and then this is rank, this is a uh, shape three. So I guess this is, um, Doing the broadcasting thing, kind of it's applying it to each row. All the elements in Ravel order. So this flattens out nested of arrays? Um Well, yeah, guess so. Yeah, it is. Uh, and also higher rank arrays. But yeah, this last one's interesting in that it's uh, combining these different shapes. And actually, we've ended up with less ones than we started with, right? So it's doing something slightly weird here. Oh, no, uh, wait, am I doing this right? Okay, no, I'm reading it wrong. So actually, yeah, sorry. I forgot, I got confused by the precedence. Yeah, so even though there's no space there, we have to remember this is actually that, right? Okay, yeah, so it's just flattening it out. So it's not weird. Cool. Yeah, so you've got to be a bit careful to remember that it, although it prints this like a word nine, it's actually, these are just characters. N, I, N, and E. That's why this shape is 13. <sighs> okay. Member of ABC four is that? Is it an ele Okay, so is ABC an element of this set? No, it's not. Is four an element of this set? Yes, it is. So we get zero one. Um, and then this is just saying, um, is each element of the matrix an element of this set? And it puts them in the same order. So one is not an element, two is an element, three is not an element, and so forth. Makes sense. So if you, if you kind of reversed that and did um, like one, two, three epsilon mat, would it be searching like the major cells of if, if Matt was on the um, 
the right hand like side. Yeah, so it's saying, okay, so it's still looking cell wise, it's not looking at major cells. It's saying is six anywhere in that matrix? I think, and it's yeah. two anywhere in the matrix. Yeah. Exactly. I so I think the right okay. the the rank of the right hand side seems totally meaningless. Okay. It's just treated as a set. I I also tried with two matrices and got the same behavior that you would expect okay. there. Cool. Thanks, Molly. All right. Epsilon underbar. Just dyadic. Uh, okay, where is A in, oh, is A, no, uh, is B in, um, A and A, is A and A and A uh, is in, I think it's going, got, it, got it, okay, wait, no, because N is in both, and that would be zero, and that's zero, so it should be, so I was wrong. Huh. No. Sounded compelling. <laughs> yeah, it worked for the first two. It finds occurrences of X within Y. Oh. Okay, the whole of X. Anna is here. And Anna is oh. here. Okay, and we're gonna try to give the easy examples. Oops. There we go. Yep. Okay. How do we create this thing? X is okay. X one is two by two O one one O X two is four by four O one O O one one uh, oh, I see. That's what we want.
Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's X and Y. Never mind. X, Y. All right. Oh, I see. So it's finding where is like this, oh, where is this like one, one diagonal? And you can find it here, here, and here, because they're the ones. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, I think the, the, the APL wiki seems to have a kind of a, uh, I think a better explanation of it, but and sorry, maybe you guys already talked about that. I've been I've been in and out of the discussion. So. Um, no, nope, we hadn't. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Great. Why is there an N here? Is that actually the letter N? Oh, no, that's the other shoe on that one. And Tilda, we've done. This first two might go under the math, I think. Might go in math? Yeah, I think there they? is. The circle star is um, log and natural log. Uh -huh. And the domino looking thing is uh, matrix division and matrix inversion, I think. Okay, matrix we're going to have to do after we've done rank. It's certainly log we can do. Circle star. Oh, that's easy. Do you know how to type it? I think it is um, the back tick star, I think. Oh, or well, alt star now to me. Not a great rendering here. I think rather than writing that, I'd rather write a to the power of one. Cool. There we go. Domino quad divide. Matrix inverse and matrix division by. Okay. Yeah. But I'll write them down and then we can put them somewhere. Right. 
and how do I take this one, Molly? No? Or anybody? I, I believe it's um, the um, plus. So it's the same as division, but with the shift key, I think. That one? Um, I think so. That doesn't quite look right, does it? Uh, that was, sorry, is that, so, sorry, that was alt uh, shift slash. Uh, Alt Shift Plus or oh, Alt Shift, shift Plus. Sorry. Cool. Is there some way to get a good, what's a good easy way to get an identity matrix? Um, I did that in a blog post. Oh. Well, I, I used it. I don't know that I, uh, explain how I got there. Here was, um, I'll put in the chat what my identity uh, function was. Why is this not working? Have I got it the wrong way around? I think I do actually. Yes. Oh, there's a few things happening in the chat I noticed. I guess it's fine anyway, we can see easily enough it's that's the invert, that's the identity. Oh. Okay. Dietic. I'm not really sure what matrix division means. Do any of you? No. Oh, I think you're using X instead of the dash. The <laughs> dash or whatever. Oh, gosh, how do I do that? Okay. I haven't quite heard that expression matrix division before, but it makes sense. It's just the opposite of matrix multiplication. Oh. Um. 
Oh, cool. It does pseudo inverses as well. It has more rows and columns, the least squares result. So I think that's just what's called the pseudo inverse. It's neat. Okay, linear regression on complex numbers. Why not? Oh, lots of things to study there. All right. Probably a good time to stop. I thought we've done dot. Or have we only done it in this one situation? Or did we not do it at all? I'm not sure that we've done it. Oh, well, that's bad because I've definitely referred to it. Um, yeah, I think we talked about it a bit. Um, okay, well, let's I wrote pop one it of the underneath posts, array rank. But I don't know that we. Okay. Linear algebra. Let's quickly do this then before we finish. Dot, which is a operator. Oh, it's an operator. So we can't do it here. Let's put it over here. Dot. All right. Okay, so this is a dot product. One times four plus two times five plus three times six. This is interesting. Uh, 
So this is um, and, isn't it? So this is three equals three and three equals three and three equals three and three equals three. If I did this, it would be zero. That's cool. Good example. Okay. I remember when I was playing with this inner product, I was thinking that using it with the up and down styles for min and max was could be useful as well. Right. Go on. I can see where you're heading. Uh. So you could. Um, let's see. I'm reading my own blog post trying to figure out what it means. So I could. <laughs> let's oh, let's uh, maybe just put it in the forum thread after we do it. Uh, and so then they had, uh, oh yeah, then they got the special case. Actually, didn't we do that in the competition thing? Because we were doing that, oh, or maybe we just played with it, but we ended up getting rid of it. I remember we talked about out of product for that uh, gene example. But um, yeah, I think I messed it up and didn't quite get it working. So that's fine. All right, I think that's it. Thanks all, good to see you. Bye. Good all right, tomorrow. thanks a bunch. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye.